Merry Christmas! I'm so glad you've joined me today. I'm going to show you how I made my little pom-pom snowman. The supplies that you'll need for this project are yarn, pom-pom makers, scissors for your yarn, pipe cleaners, you'll need an orange and one of your color choice, ribbon, sticks from your yard, something to trim your pipe cleaners with, and a hot glue gun. You'll need buttons for eyes, and buttons for his belly. The first thing to do for your little snowman body is to cut some extra strands of the yarn. And these are what will keep our pom-poms together. I'm gonna make the small one first, leave a little bit extra, and then just start wrapping around and around and around. It's hard to really get this too full when you wanna make a fluffy pom-pom but I think a good general rule is to try and keep it flat along with the pink line, even though I went past it. I'm just trying to get a really fluffy one. Trim that off, and then you'll do your other side. Now when you have all of your pieces trimmed, I'm gonna go ahead and trim mine off just a little bit more to keep them out of the way. Now we're going to cut in between these two pieces. You'll do the same for this side too. When you have it all trimmed, you'll grab your extra piece that we cut before, slide that in between the two, pull it nice and tight, and we're going to tie a knot and loop it twice. This helps keep the knot nice and strong and keeps your knot from going anywhere. Pull that as tight as you can you can also use sewing thread, but I like to pull mine really tight and my sewing thread tends to always break when I try to do that. We're gonna open these out like that. Pull these apart and we'll tighten that up again. Next, we will tie another knot to make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. It is now time for our little pom-pom to get a haircut. He is mostly an oval right now, but we want him to be mostly circular. So we're going to trim some of these longer ends and just shape it into a nice little pom-pom. I have my handy dandy trash can. I'm just going to trim and reshape this into a more circular shape. I like to shake mine around inside of my trash bin to help fluff it out and see where I need to trim next. This one looks pretty good to me. It's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. Let's go ahead and do our larger one. I tried something a little bit different with this guy when I wrapped him. When I did the first wrapping, I did it really loose, and then the closer I got to it being full, I wrapped tighter. So he turned out more circular. I will have to keep that in mind next time I make these. When I was preparing for this video, I made a couple trial ones. These are actually from the same size pom-pom maker, I just didn't fill this one as full. Since I'm making mine into an ornament, I'm going to take the smaller one for his head and tie a little knot with the strings that we are keeping the pom-pom together with, and then we'll hang him by this. I'm going to trim off these pieces so they will blend in now, because we are just going to hot glue the two pieces together. Find where you would like the top of his head to be. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. And then we'll apply a generous amount of hot glue and stick his head on. I cut a nine inch piece of my ribbon and I'm just going to fold it lengthwise in half and then snip up. And this will help to keep it from raveling and I will do that for both sides. Now it's almost like he has a little bit of fringe on the end of his scarf. His little scarf is going to help define where his neck is. Tie it around. Find a place where you're happy with it. Once you've got it tied around and happy with it, add a little dot of glue to keep it secured.
and then if his scarf looks a little bit too long, you can definitely trim it. For his little nose, let's use our pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold mine over and then cut it. You can also use crafting scissors, just don't use your fabric scissors. Now we'll find where we want his nose to be and place a little dot of hot glue there and place his little nose on. He needs some eyes. Let's add his eyes on. I'm using these teeny tiny little buttons and I'm just gonna hot glue those too. We're going to use that same technique to add on his little buttons. I'm using larger buttons for his belly than I was for his eyes, just to add a little bit more definition. And I'm only using two. I'm going to make him some little ear muffs. And to measure that, I'm going down from his neck all the way around across his head. And I'm going to cut at the other side of where his neck was. With this shorter piece, I'm going to spin up a couple of times. on either side and then flip it around almost like music notes see if I like that sizing and then we'll hot glue it on I'll place a little dot I went between the hanger so that it might stay a little bit better and then I'll put one under each ear muff as you go along, you may find some pieces that have gotten a little bit longer or turned out longer than you liked. So you can just trim those as you go. Now he just needs his arms. I cut mine to a good length and now we'll just hot glue them on. I'm so glad that you joined me today for another Christmas Crafts and Chats. I hope I get to see you again tomorrow. Merry Christmas.